guys welcome back to my channel uh, today we're going to be discussing not about beauty products or anything related to makeup tutorials or hair but today I'm going to touch a very important subject uh, that I'm very grateful for today so it's going to be about my skin story and how I got to where I am today especially um, my health and skin wise so moving on I never really had skin like this uh, the reason my skin is like this today is because I've had to go through a lot uh, to get it looking perfect. So when I was in high school, I suffered from a skin condition called lichen planus. Now I don't really know what it was uh, or is back then and now. I didn't really know what it was, but it was basically this condition where my skin would have um, like white patches and then it would like swell up a little and get itchy. So I had it all over my hands um, luckily not anywhere on my body or my face and I had it on my palms as well and a lot on my legs so a lot to go through um, we did a lot of treatments and everything uh, I remember there was this one time where I actually had to sleep on a bed of neem leaves and it was so uncomfortable it used to itch and oh that's a whole other story but when I went to college it came back and I was really upset because you know in college you like to experiment with like uh, your outfits and I was in an all girls college and initially we didn't really have uh, a dress code so I would experiment with like skirts and like uh, sleeveless tops and like backless and everything so it was just really hard for me to like uh, be my true self when I was in college cause, but when I came back to Bahrain uh, I broke out a lot I didn't know how, I didn't know why, I wasn't doing anything different, my routine was the same. Uh, yes, I did not use sunblock, I, I wouldn't use good moisturizer, I wouldn't use good creams, I would just use, you know, whatever I had, like whatever was sitting around, I would borrow some of my mom's, I'd borrow some of my sister's. But anyways, and back then I wouldn't wear any foundation, like I did not wear foundation. It was only when I came back to Bahrain and then I started breaking out, I didn't really want to go out with my skin looking like that, so I started wearing foundation to cover it up. And I did not know anything about makeup, so I would just wear foundation and not set it in with anything. So I would have my face uh, one color and my body another color. So it was it was really bad. And but I wouldn't. It was really bad. Anyways, so uh, I basically lost hope in dermatologists during my uh, skin condition incident when I was in Bangalore because I went to maybe 50 different dermatologists and really good ones spent a lot of money and it did not help at all like over the years the lichen plan is sort of reduced I still do have a few patches on my legs and in case you guys wonder uh, how why my legs are so shiny in some of my outfit posts especially during the summer when I'm wearing short skirts it's because I have to use um, a bronzer to sort of hide uh, the little marks that remain today but apart from that it has all gone like my hands are really clear now not really I mean well still there's some you can see um, some stuff like I don't know anyways so um, I'm so grateful to God for helping uh, me go through all of that and you know having the confidence like um, not care about what people said or when people used to stare at me I did not really care because after a point you get so tired so uh, I came back to Bahrain and my skin got really bad so I stopped believing in dermatologists and I was like whatever they suggest is not gonna work so I didn't really see a dermatologist and every time I went to like uh, parties and like or wherever I went people would be like oh my god you should really see a dermatologist and I'm like no I don't want to see a dermatologist because it's not gonna work and as I started attending events and you know once this blogger thing caught up to me and I started being more interactive with my followers and on Instagram and on the blog obviously taking pictures I got a little bit more conscious about my skin and I finally decided to visit a dermatologist and this dermatologist was recommended by uh, a beauty blogger back in the day Sodation because this was the turning point in my life for my skin um, because I actually visited the, the, the dermatologist she recommended and believe me it just took one week for me to see a difference in my skin after I visited her, this dermatologist. And I remember before I left her clinic, she actually told me, don't worry, I'm not going to let you be like this all your life. So I was like, 
oh, I hope this works. And she changed my entire skincare routine. She changed all the products I use, and I will share the products with you guys um, much later. But she changed my entire routine, so my face wash, my cream, and she got me introduced to habits that I wouldn't do, like wear sunscreen. I would never wear sun sunscreen, so she changed everything for me. And believe it or not, in a week, I started to see changes, and I was so, 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 so happy. I could not be more thankful uh, to, to uh, my dermatologist right now. Before we go through all the products, I just want to say that this is not how I would describe ideal skin. I still I still have problem areas like I said earlier, like pop marks and my pores are huge. But until I find a solution for that, I just want to share uh, these products that have really, 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 really helped uh, my skin over the years. Okay, so the first product that I really, really... Uh, love is Eucerin. I have mentioned it before. It has appeared on my blog in some of my monthly favorites and things like that. So Eucerin, the whole range is really good, especially the Dermo Purifier range. So uh, my dermatologist actually changed my skincare routine in the morning to uh, the face wash, the toner and in the night, the night cream. So that was something that really, really helped me. And toner is something that you should not skip, guys. Honestly, it really, really helps. It helps um, control like oil and helps you, uh, helps to even out the skin tone. Also helps, helps your skin be more firm and more taut, if that makes any sense. But yes, uh, the next thing that I really love from the Eucerin range is... Uh, the day and the night cream uh, this is actually not night cream the night cream is I don't know where but anyways night cream is same like this it just looks like this so this is the Eucerin even brighter uh, day cream and it's 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 really thick I wouldn't suggest it uh, I wouldn't suggest um, it before makeup like if you wear if you're going out and you want to throw this on and like put your makeup up on after that I wouldn't really suggest this because it's really thick so I keep this for weekends when I'm staying in at home this is something that I actually purchased very recently because Eucerin has been really working for me and I have like laugh lines which I hate so I have been using this Hyaluron filler I don't know it's a filler apparently and it helps with wrinkles so I have used up just very little of that and this is also really thick and really oily so I use it for the night the last thing which is my favorite 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 and it has definitely helped with the appearance of fine lines and I don't know which overall texture of my skin is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. Now it's a little bit pricey. I think I paid around 30 pounds for it, I think. I'm not sure. I think. Was it on offer? I don't know. I bought it in London for like, I think it's Selfridges. Was it? I think, yeah. I think it was at Selfridges for like 30 pounds. I'm not sure. But back then I thought it was too much. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think. Yeah, I think it was 30 pounds or more. I was on promotion. I don't know what it was. But anyways, I got it because I have been hearing uh, a lot of good things about it. I bought this last year actually and I don't know if you can see but it hasn't, fin can't see. It hasn't finished um, that much. All you need to do is use two to three drops in the night and this has definitely helps my skin and what it claims to do is it says it's a replenishing elixir of pure essential oils and distilled botanicals to visibly restore the appearance of skin by morning. And I did use this initially when I bought it from London last, last last year, I think. I would use it and then my skin was still really bad at that time. I still had the acne and stuff. So I thought that it was it was not good. Oil wasn't good for like acne because it helps grow the bacteria or whatever. But I stopped using this. But recently, I think about f six months back, I read somewhere that this was voted as uh, a best product on the Cosmo list of beauty skincare or something but this was really good and this was on there and I'm like hey I have this so I started using it again and it has definitely helped uh, the appearance of my fine lines and the overall condition of my skin even this uh, the hydrolon filler hyaluron filler whatever it's called the eucerin it, it has helped with my skin uh, the wrinkles and the fine lines on my skin but I don't use this regularly I use this like thrice a month because it's really strong and the lady the sales lady told me not to use it regularly especially if you're using different creams in the night not really use that so what I do is I use the hyaluron filler maybe on like problem areas like under my eyes or my my laughter lines but this I use it on my entire face especially on my forehead and this has definitely 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 helped with um, the overall appearance of my 
face and so I love this that's why I saved this for last because this little bottle is like a miracle product I cannot be we don't have keels here so I think we have it in Dubai and I've seen it at I think Qatar Airport as well so I'm definitely gonna pick up a few more products uh, when I travel the next time and yeah that's about it so those are all the products that actually helped me um, restore my skin and like save my skin really and that's it so if if you guys have any questions for me or like anything else like please leave the comments below and I will definitely get back to you on that alternatively you can also uh, email me and my email is up on my Instagram page it's at ask the style council so feel free to ask me questions guys and I would love for you to put down comments on like what you'd like to see and like uh, hair care or morning routine night routine tutorials what you'd like to see more of so I can really work on it for you guys so uh, I will see you in the next video and I hope you enjoyed this one and if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe and also you can follow me on Instagram at us a style council and my Facebook page and on snapchat I'm crazy on snapchat so follow me on there as well and please leave your comments below bye we start, uh, I just want to say oof, how I've achieved the skin. Oof. So before we start, I just want to say, uh, huh. anyways, where will we? So, I, you know, it helps the oil. <gasps> Thank you.